Hey, why I don't share low? I didn't even understand this thing like this. UAE government bars all airlines from conveying Nigerians to Dubai as diplomatic role deepens. Not that maybe coming from Nigeria. That means any Nigerian, if that is what I understand it to be. UAE government bars all airlines from conveying Nigerians. All airlines, not all airlines from Nigeria. All airlines conveying Nigerians to Dubai as diplomatic role deepens. The United Arab Emirates, UAE, has barred airlines from conveying Nigerian passengers to the country as the diplomatic role between the two nations deepens. Nigerians traveling to Dubai have mostly been using other airlines for their trips since the drama with Emirates Airlines started months ago. Among these airlines are Egypt Air, Air France, KLM, Ethiopia Airlines, Rwanda Air, Etihad, but on Monday, many Nigerian passengers who boarded Ethiopian lines heading for Dubai were sent off the plane. Daily Trust reports this happened hours after the restrictions imposed on Emirates by the federal government took effect. The Director General of the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority had withdrawn the winter schedule earlier approved for Emirates to operate 21 weekly flights to Nigeria. The government instead gave Emirates one weekly slot in Abuja, the nation's capital, in a tit for tat measure after the Sharjah Airport authorities reportedly denied Airpiece the three slots it requested. Following the development, Emirates had suspended all its flights to Nigeria pending the resolution of the issues between Nigeria and the UAE. But Things worsened after Dubai banned passengers using other airlines were reportedly bad. Oh, Coco, you don't read do. You don't read do. That means all of those uh, politicians that always go there for bed day for uh, whatever. He <laughs> don't, he don't, he don't read. A source said the the burden of Nigeria passengers was on the order of the UAE authorities. UAE says no entry for Nigerian passengers from any airline. Ethiopia just offloaded all passengers heading to dubai we are avoiding dubai bound tickets the source said there has been a, no official communication from the uae authorities to the latest developments daily trust had earlier reported how many nigerian passengers were stranded over the emirates log jam passenger a passenger who was to travel via an emirates flight on monday had to explore an alternative airline paying over 500,000 naira to travel via Lufthansa. Among those stranded are businessmen, students and others said to be going for medical reasons. I had to look or book another air flight or flight on Lufthansa traveling through Brazil just to connect Dubai because the various restrictions across the world have made travel very difficult for everybody because you have to travel via a destination, not on the red list. But I must be in Dubai by all means, and that has cost me an extra 500,000 naira. How many people can afford this? A student who preferred anonymity said. The vice president of the National Association of Nigeria Travel Agencies, Nanta Abuja Zun Ambassador Adeshola Kayode, lamented that millions of naira have been lost and businesses affected as a result of the current imbroglio. We have lost millions. They lost millions. Clients have started requesting refunds, and some of these tickets are not refundable. And for those that have refunds, it will take time. For those that have refunds, it will take time to press to process. He said. He, however, said the federal government's decision was a welcome development to protect the sovereignty and integrity of the country. The former president of the National Association of Aircraft Pilots and Engineers, Engineer Isaac Balami, said Emirates and other foreign airlines should begin to respect Nigeria. They should begin to take us seriously. When we didn't fly into the country, we did not die. They must begin to respect Africa, most importantly Nigeria. Like they always say, respect is reciprocal. If you respect yourself, somebody will respect you. That's it. Hmm. I commend the minister and the dg for this bold step and i pray that we will continue in that tra trajectory 
not just Emirates but any other person who we not respect and honor Nigeria. When Emirates solves the problem and makes air peace happy, we all also make them happy. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, we don't have people who are really her. Huh? At times when I see all those people that we wear suits, they will be forming big men, big men. You well, you just begin to wonder what are they doing? What are they you know, I don't even know how to ask the question. Captain of industry. Your Excellency, sir, you know I'm always using that. Your Excellency, Your Highness, uh, Royal and all those whatever. At the end of the day, now all, all my titles, nothing they happen. All of the job shine high, shine high. They find out they will take get contracts. How they will take good, good contract for themselves, spoil everything, share money. That is why it, it seems as if Nigeria is not okay. Who told you? Who told you that Nigeria is not is, is not is not supposed to be one of the lead countries in the world? Because of all these uh, useless people. In fact, uh, all these Yahoo Yahoo boys, uh, they are better off. All these Yahoo Yahoo boys, they are better off than all these politicians that we have in this country. Because they don't, they don't get head. Anywhere, anything goes. Whatever that concerns them, that is what they are concerned about. That is what they have interest in. But anything that concerns an average Nigeria is none of their business. That is why we see a uh, class here. Yeah. People are doing class. Uh, this one is not my level. I'm, I'm above the law. Do you know who I am? You'll be hearing all those useless statements. Do you know who I am? Who you be? Apart from you being the servants of the people. Let's see how all this is, how it's going to turn out to be. Nigeria passport holders can't board to uh, Dubai from any country. That is what it means. Nigeria government don't go look for big trouble. Wahala. No, be that. Let them, let them, let them face it. Nonsense and ingredients. UAE would be at the receiving end because economically we contribute a lot to them as we buy a lot of goods from them. But you think so? They should. They also have known that now because they are the ones that are supposed to be taking anybody in just because of the money they want. But you might not be right. Maybe to an extent you might be right. But in the recent, they also have known the economic um impact that is going to have on them they also have thought, thought it through if it were to be nigeria everything goes even those who have a who, who had a, the highest case of a covid 19 then they were allowing them to come in if not for i don't just understand we are a different species if not the old the old place would have been flooded everything like the kind of prediction that uh, this man former wife be gates that uh, uh, all this rubbish that uh, people will be dying on the streets but at the end of the day it didn't happen somebody said since it didn't happen he had to divorce she had to divorce uh, her husband so guys, let us hear your opinion. Do you think Nigeria will be able to sustain this? Do you think they are, they are doing the right thing? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you.